Dear NBA Live, it's time that you make your comeback right now. The last time that NBA Live came out was 2018, the same year NBA 2K19 dropped. And everybody remembers that. 2K19 was by far the superior game, and it was 2K's last good game. So it's been three years since the NBA Live has dropped a game, and we're already on next gen now. PS5 and Xbox Series consoles right here now. And I think it's time that NBA Live brings back NBA Live. I think it's the most perfect time to make a comeback now with next gen's consoles being here already. And EA has stated that they are bringing back a sports franchise game. It's probably NBA Live, to be honest. I never played the NBA Live like that, really. I, I used to play the demos when it came out, but I never bought the game because they weren't good. Because I tested them, I played them enough in the demos, and I didn't like it. But I am willing to give NBA Live a chance now, no matter how the game feels, even if there's no demo. And the reason why I'm saying that is because NBA 2K has gone in a terrible direction. When NBA Live came out a couple years ago, probably with the NBA Live 18 demo, the game kind of felt slow, but it felt like they were headed in the right direction. It wasn't on par with 2K, because 2K was putting up games that felt better. When I mean by felt better, I mean the movement felt fluid and smooth. It wasn't clunky like NBA Live was. It was slow. NBA Live had a slower gameplay, and it wasn't as fun playing it. But now with NBA 2K, I feel that they've gone to NBA Live route, and the game play in NBA 2K feels slow, and something like NBA Live felt a couple years ago, and I feel that when games try to capture this real player movement that NBA 2K's been doing, kind of messes the arcade fun type of gameplay it should be, and that's where 2K is headed. But this is about NBA Live. NBA Live, like I said, needs to make us come back now. And the real, real reason I want NBA Live to come back is because they need to give 2K some competition. 2K has been at the top for years. And NBA Live needs to give these guys some competition. Competition creates better games. It creates better everything in any, in any space. Like for example, Tesla and Porsche are putting out probably two of the best electric cars out. And Porsche has added some features that maybe Tesla should might want to compete with and bring over them with themselves. And so this is why I believe that NBA Live needs to come back so they can get 2K competition. Because 2K, they get lazy when they're at the top. And when no one's competing with them, they'll do whatever they want. But if another company tries to do something different and it might be better, it will make the other company bring out their best again. And I always felt that NBA Live did a good job with their graphics in the game. The graphics look nice. Um, I always thought they were better than 2Ks. It's just that the thing with NBA Live is their face games are terrible. They look nothing like the actual players. If you're going to make a game around like people with the real players, especially like an NBA game, you got to have the face games on point. But the NBA Live franchise in general just needs a whole revamp. And with the technology now on next gen, I feel it's a perfect time to do that revamp the whole game do that like it, it really needs just something new everyone likes something fresh something that nba live always needed to do better was like i said before their dribbling and their movement in the game it always felt clunky the dribbling didn't feel as smooth as the nba 2ks and to be honest i i, I pull a uh, katie perry on y'all steal some of uh, 2k's people y'all should do that and i feel that it's okay to copy what 2k has done it, they do that in every space like in in the phone market their iphone put out a camera with three cameras look at three cameras and now other phone companies are putting more cameras or better cameras on their product remember apple used to have a a, a lock button on the top they switched to the side they copied other people and it's okay to copy as long as you're copying the good things and not the bad and so speaking of copying nba live you need to copy 2K and bring the park over. You need to bring a park because that's an open environment where everybody likes to play. And there's more, if you have multiple people, if your service, I'm pretty sure your service can handle, you guys are making Battlefield with 128 player service, so you guys can do it. But there needs to be an open space where players can come together 
and play each other in basketball. You guys had like a like a park type setting, but it wasn't an actual park. It was just a one court and you would load into the game, stuff like that. We need an environment, an actual environment where you could walk around and stuff like that. And I always feel that NBA Live has been good on the presentation of the gameplay. If you know what I mean? Like if you're if you're playing like just say you're my player or or a regular game, like a play now game, their presentation is always been better than 2k in my opinion they have like espn usually or like some actual news broadcast instead of like 2k tv not that's i don't know what 2k calls it but they're broadcasting crew um i feel like they always did a better job of presentation if you guys remember in uh the what was it march madness 10 or college basketball 10 whatever they called it they actually had a, a very nice presentation system also something nba live should also look into doing is more customization for your player and your clothes and stuff like that. NBA Live had a pre set of clothing in the previous NBA Live games and it really wasn't customizable at, your player wasn't as customizable as 2K. Like in 2K, you were able to create your own shoes. Exactly, you could create your own shoes with different brands or you can just create a different colorway of a shoe. You couldn't do that in NBA Live, not that I remember of. And NBA Live has always done a good job of having an actual shoe model look like the actual shoe model. They did that a very better job than NBA 2K did. And the way that the jerseys move and the shirts float, it actually looked realistic, something that 2K doesn't do. And so but bring that stuff back, but just be able to have more customizations uh, for like your clothes and stuff like that, better tattoos, different things at 2k 2k had do rags now it, it's art like the park is supposed to be more arcadey bring stuff like that into the park and the reason why you need a park is because remember in nba live their like online gameplay like mode was 5v5 even if it was in a park we want 3v3 actually if you think of it 5v5 save it for an actual wreck let us create actual wreck team and stuff like that bring that into nba live it's okay to copy 2k just bring that in let us create teams, let it have leaderboards, bring a, a casual or ranked game mode. A lot of uh, games have that or stuff like that. Bring that, have an actual rank where it feels like we're progressing and get something. Reward us for that. I know I'm focused more on like the, the my player aspect of the NBA Live, but this is like the better of a basketball game. I know like you guys are probably gonna bring your uh, like your basketball ultimate team. I don't know what you guys want to call it, but I'm pretty sure they had that in previous years too, but I mean, you you guys have Ultimate Team in FIFA and Madden and NBA Live has my team. If you guys are gonna bring something like that, bring the good over for that too. I, I don't really know much about that space because I'm not really a heavy player on that side, but hey, as long as it makes the game better. So NBA Live, I hope you took the time to make an actual game if you guys are coming out with it this year. I hope you guys made it good because that's what everybody's waiting for. We need some competition. So, hope you guys are ringing. Sincerely, from your boy NK Rudy. And for my subscribers and viewers, if you haven't already, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell because YouTube always has to recommend when I upload. So, when I upload, you'll get recommended. You can follow my Instagram and Twitter at NK Rudy also. I'll see you in videos. It's your boy NK Rudy, signing off.